Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's me, the Bolt the Bear, and by the time you guys are seeing this, Alien Romulus is out, and I pre-recorded all of this stuff just so I can go out and see it on the premiere day, so I hope you enjoy what this is. Um, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Make sure to slap a like on the video, sub if you want to. We're super close to my goal of 1K by the end of the year, so did you tell your friends yet? Make sure to tell them while you're at the movie theaters watching Alien Romulus. No sponsor, but hey, Alien, listen. I'm just saying. All right, guys. So we have a build request. It's kind of an interesting build. I'm not quite sure what to think of it, really. But it just kind of... I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I will make... I'm going to start doing this in the videos, guys. Um, I will use your builds. And then I will use something I would sub out for my own. Just to kind of put a little spin on it. Make it a little change. You know what I'm talking about? All right. So for the, the official build that they wanted, we have a Sloppy Butcher... Wounds inflicted by basic attacks cause survivors to suffer from the hemorrhage and mangled status effects for 90 seconds. Increases the rate at which healing progression is lost from hemorrhage by 25%. And as always, if you guys don't know what hemorrhage is, I will describe it. It's hemorrhage, regresses healing progress when not healing, and increases blood trails left by injured survivors. This lasts for a set duration or until fully healed. And then what mangled is, is it increases time required to heal by 25% and lasts for a set duration or until fully healed. Then we have Hex the Third Seal. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack or a special attack while the Hex Totem is active applies the Blindness status effect. This effect applies to the, la the last of four survivors hit. The Hex effects persist as long as the related Hex Totem is standing. Blindness prevents survivors from seeing auras. Alright, and then we have Undying. When another Hex Totem is cleansed... Sorry, uh, um, while Hex Undying is active, survivors within four meters of an Eddie Doll Totem have their aura revealed. When another Hex Totem is cleansed, that Totem's Hex transfers to the Hex Undying Totem. De deactivating Hex Undying. Any tokens the transferred Hex had are transferred as well. And then that leads us to Sporechuck Monster Shrine. At the start of the trial, four random hooks are changed into Sporechucks. You see their auras in white. Sporechucks grant 20% faster in entity uh, progression if the killer is not within 24 meters. Basement hooks count as Sporechucks as well. And a lot of people don't know this, but any Sporechuck um, has the faster entity progression it's not just the basement hooks a lot of people think it's just the basement hooks no it got buffed to where it's all of the score jokes on the map so then we have ripley's watch when a turret removes crawler mode it is destroyed automatically and they did say that i could change this to the harpoon gun but i chose to keep it kane's helmet um just because we have sloppy butcher doesn't mean that we're always going to be doing basic attacks and that's what sloppy butcher does sloppy butcher only affects basic attacks Essentially, Kane's helmet gives us Mangled for our Tail Strike, which I think is good as well. So we have kind of uh, Mangled on Basic and uh, Tail Attack. So that's what I'm going with here. And then we just have a Cobbler. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure, again, to tell everybody and sub if you want to. <laughs> I will see you guys in the match. All right, so we got the Disturbed Ward. I'm not really even sure what the hell map this even is. I mean, not map, what the what the heck build this even is. This is, and when I say that, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad build. I'm saying I don't know what to name it. I'm gonna have a really hard time thinking of a YouTube name for this one. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy it. What's up, Jeff? How's it going? You are gonna be our first target. We get a little bit of a sloppy butcher on him. That's good. See what we can do here. Make it work, Jeff. What do you got? What do you got for me? What are we gonna do here? Fake that. Come around here. Did he fall for it? Mmm. I stubbed my little tail, bro. I stubbed my little tail. Let's see if we can't get uh, a little hit on Yui over here instead. With uh, with sloppy butcher and uh, whatever, like the Kane's helmet, um, spreading damage is kind of what you want to do. I know. I know sloppy butchers got nerfed because of uh, like mangled and stuff that, that's all timed now i still think it's good i still think it's all right all right we get to down there not too bad not too bad did take us a little bit but we did spread some pressure a little bit uh, we do have a score choke right next to us which is really good i'm happy to see that score choke so we'll have monster shrine going as long as we're not near the hook so my thoughts on this are uh if they're on comms They'll let each other know that, hey, Monster Shrine, you guys got to come save. So if they do sit on the hook too long, you might see me venturing back and forth um, closer to it. And that's only because... Damn, I got stuck. Uh, we get... Ooh, nice duck, dude. Um, 
because I want I want to pressure them off the hooks. Only when it only when it's uh, viable. Like right now, I'm probably gonna break this and kind of head back over in that direction. Uh, we do see somebody going for it. I think that yep, that's Sable. Sable's going for the save. Since she's gonna get it, we'll get our tail strike. Ooh, we might actually get it down pretty quick here. Yeah, we do. That's good. That's good. Two tail strikes. Um, Yui decided to stay around, which might not have been the smartest idea for her. Does she have, like... No, she doesn't have Dead Heart or anything. I might pick up. I'm gonna make sure nobody's around first. Check and see. Alright, I see Jeff over there, I think. I think that was Jeff. Throw her up on the hook. I think they can get that pick up. Yeah, they do. They do get the pick up, but that's okay. We have three stacks of um, Hex the Third Seal. Um, did they come over here at all? I don't... I thought they did. Maybe they didn't. Maz. Ooh, hello. This is the one we don't have our stack on, so that's good. We'll wrap around. She vaulted. Um, she knows that... We're over here mainly because we got hit by the flames. Ooh, patient. I like that. Oh, super patient, dude. Damn, she even threw me off. That's smart. That was that was phenomenal play by her. Um, less phenomenal play. But she she was playing that very well right there. You love to see that. We'll pick her up, throw her up on the hook. Another thing that's kind of getting to me um, as a as a xenomorph main is is the amount of people that just like I get shit on so much um, because people consider this killer boring to go against and I'm like it, it doesn't bother me that they think that the killer is boring to go against it's when they lump me into only playing the killer because they're strong or they're boring or they have a, like a play style that guarantees hits and stuff like that and it just it, it gets to me sometimes but I, I like I, I enjoy playing Xenomorph a lot and I'm not out here to like make people have a bad time or anything I'm just here to enjoy. I'm just here to enjoy a killer that uh, I love the franchise for. You know. I kind of want to cut off um, anyone going for the save at this point. Um, if I can wrap around here. Up, oh, up, oh. and we got Jeff. Let's go. So this is how I play. This is how I personally play around Monster Shrine. Is I like to play where. Um, I pressure them into getting saves, right? And that's how you that's how you get your hits and stuff. Okay, so they got my third seal. Oh no, they got him dying. Okay, he's wrapping around. Awesome. He zoned himself. Um, I don't think we're gonna take him to the score drift. I don't think we have the score drift near, which is alright. Yeah, we don't have it. Uh yeah, we don't have one close enough. Okay, and third seal is gone as well. They got both the totems really quick. So any potential aura reading they have, they have back. Now we just kind of got to scope them out. Hello, 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 hello. And this is kind of what you want to do. You, what you want to do is you want to spread the spread the damage when you have Sloppy Butcher and uh, anything with, like, Kane's Helmet, Mangled, stuff like that. You want to spread that pressure and keep everybody injured. Um, yeah, I was about to say, we definitely get that hit. We'll head back closer to this side, see if they're going to come in. See, they're wasting a lot of time healing. This is what, like, this is what we need to be doing a lot, is keeping them injured. They want to they wanna be fully healed. We want to deplete these med kits that they have. Um, I don't really see anybody. I think we are going to end up pushing him into a uh, second. Yeah, see, we got, uh, we got pink-haired Yui here. She, she's, they're probably upset because, like, proxying, but that's what you do, right? Um, that's what you do with Monster Shrine. You want to keep people injured and you want to keep people away from the hook because they're pressured on time. Is it an annoying playstyle? Yes, yes. It's definitely an annoying playstyle, but uh, I, me personally, I feel like it's the best way to use Monster Shrine is to... I thought I saw a bird fly over here. I could have been wrong. Now we're just camping. Now we're just camping like a jerk. <laughs> We're going to head back over here, then. Yep, they got the save. He is definitely getting pressured into... Like, he's... He, 
Somebody's got to get over there. All right, wrap around there. Come back around. Oh, she ran into us. No dead hard. That's all right. They did save her. Sa save him, sorry. They did save him. So that's all good. Yeah. Um, healing yourself up. Probably not the go-to because... Uh, especially if somebody's on hook. If somebody's on hook and we're injuring everybody with Sloppy Butcher and stuff. So, so I guess I can definitely see the appeal to this build. You want to keep people pressured and not healing as much as you can. Yep, it's about time you drop that pallet. And I think you're done here. Yeah, we gotcha. We gotcha, you're done. Pick her up and throw her up on the hook. And we'll call it a day. I don't think she's dead, right? Ooh, and we have we have two people on score jokes too. This is not good. Um, we're gonna head that way. Okay, they did in fact get the save. That's good, that's good. And you notice we're not using tunnels and whatnot because we don't want to get over there too quick, right? If we get over there too quick, we're going to lose our, um... Oh, nice, we caught him. We're going we're gonna to lose our Monster Shrine value, because if we get too close to the hook, obviously it's going to stop. And I think under, Underground counts as, as uh, getting too close to the hook. So We'll kind of stick away from the tunnels for now. I mean, if we, if we were under more pressure for time, yes, we would absolutely be, uh be doing that but we're not pressured for time really i mean we're doing pretty well here i honestly think we can we, yeah we're, i honestly think we're gonna take this one away yep fake that we don't really care about getting broken out all right and we see sable there sable unfortunately does not get there in time uh to save jeff so we do get the 3k and that's that's all good dude that's all good ggs build worked phenomenally that match if that's what you guys were hoping to see like uh maybe get a little details on why why i play the do way i do with monster shrine but yeah ggs guys ggs all right guys so i don't really have much i want to change in terms of perks or anything like that the one thing i will change is that we're going to take out undying and we're going to throw in uh, Floods of Rage. So Floods of Rage is at the start of the trial, four random hooks are changed into Scourge hooks. You see their auras in white. When a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge hook, all other survivors have their auras revealed for seven seconds. I think this will partner well with uh, Monster Shrine, mainly because we should be leaving the area. I do find myself venturing back because survivors are pressured to go to the hook faster. So you're going to see people going to the hook faster. And I would love to know when they unhook where everybody is at and getting that information. Also the blindness, uh, it's kind of nice too. So they won't be able to see anything, but I'll have aura reading as well. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the match. All right, we got Midwitch. Um, I forgot to mention, I did use a an RPD offering the first time, but they canceled it. So that's why we had a different map. I think it was Disturbed Ward. All right, hello there, Lara. Hello, hello, hello. We got one stack of third seal going. I actually think Midwitch might actually might work pretty well for this. Uh, hopefully, she takes a hit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We we want to see that damage everywhere. We want to see everybody uh getting injured. Okay, she has the window here. Can we get this? Ooh, damn, just the tip of the tail, just the tip of it. All right, pick her up, and we'll throw her up on the hook. Hopefully, we have a score truck near. If not, uh, we'll have to. Oh, nice, nice, dude. We're getting, we're getting some god rolls on these uh, score trucks, dude. Oh, and I did replace um, Undying with Floods of Rage. Floods of Rage, I think, is a good choice here. And like I said, I, I might <laughs> the Wiggles. <laughs> What I might start doing with um, these builds, the build requests, is like I'll take your guys' build requests and then I'll add my own spin to them. I think that'd be a little, a little more, uh, a little more creative than just running the same build twice. And I think uh, it helps put some fresh eyes on um, potential changes that you guys would have to your builds. You know. All right, so we have plenty of rage value. I don't really see anybody. Uh, I see them down that way, but that's it. So maybe, maybe a few distortion users. Um, but that's okay. 
we'll, we'll go after Lara. Lara did waste some time healing again. Because I'm pretty sure we injured her earlier, right? Alright, she's not going to drop that, but that's okay. She's probably... I don't think she's going to drop it. Yeah, she ha she looks like a, a, a player that has like control of what she wants to do. So, she makes that window, unfortunately. Oh, she didn't take it back. Oh, man, I, I was so dedicated to that. I definitely thought she was going to take that back. Damn. She mind gamed the hell out of me. It's all right. We should get the hit here. Yeah, we get the down here. Um, I want to make sure nobody's around, so no saves. And up on the hook you go. All right, we do have a sports hook right there. They have a turret there. We'll throw her up on the hook and be on our way. Midwitch, um, I don't really have to. I don't really have to patrol as much, you know. It's actually, this is where the gameplay varies a little bit. I don't think it's actually a good idea for me to stick around too close to the hook. Um, unless I have to, right? Unless I have to come back. Because there, this is a multi-leveled map. And if you're hanging around too long, you're there's plenty of potential for them to get gens done. So I'm just going to kind of like scope out. I did see somebody just run around that corner. Who is it? It was Michaela, and she got hella distance. So that that my guess is uh, sprint burst. We're gonna break this, break this, and then check in here. Okay, so she held W the other way when she saw me going towards that. All right, we got her here. Let's see. Uh, bad loop for you. And are you gonna? You're making the run for it. I don't think you make it anywhere. Okay, that's another down. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, another map where I won't be using my tunnels, mainly because the tunnels are notoriously bad bad for uh, Xenomorph here on this map. Um, they just don't spawn. I mean, the, actually, for if I'm being honest, these are probably some of the better uh, stations I've seen on this map. I'm not going to lie. This is actually a decent, a decent setup for this map. Uh, we're checking here. Anybody in there? No, no, no. She would have popped out. We'll leave the area to check and see where they are. They're healing up. Uh, time waster. They don't seem to be around anywhere, actually. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. What are we doing? We're gonna rotate around. Like I said, I don't want to do this, but like, all right, she went into second stage, um, and I don't see anybody around, so I'm not quite sure what people are doing. Uh, what's up, Lara? I'm, a good, I'm I didn't hear anything, so I'm guessing that was balance landing. If they don't get her, she's gonna die. Uh, okay, so if she drops that. Yeah, if she if they don't get to her soon, she's gonna she's gonna die because this Lara is gonna take me away. Uh, she went the opposite way. I'm I'm just gonna leave her. I'm gonna leave her. Hopefully that timer ticks down. Um, if they're not smart about it, she will end up dying. That's just that's just the strength of uh, Monster Shrine. I wouldn't even say Monster Shrine is super super crazy strong or anything like that. It's it's about to get a big ass nerf when uh. Oh, she tried to fake, but unfortunately, uh, we don't fall for that. Dude, she died. She, she died on first hook, dude. That is... That's a teammate issue. That's not... That's not... The build. That's a teammate issue. The teammates didn't go for her. I can understand maybe second second stage uh, she goes. But uh, going on the first... Dying on your first hook... hook like, uh, first hook is... It's kind of unreasonable when it, in terms of... Uh, survivors playing like that's wild we weren't even camping or nothing we weren't even preventing them from getting the save oh and that person just letting himself go the match is done it's over we have to find uh we have to find one of them and 
hope that we can end the chase. I haven't seen Dwight aside from that first time, dude. I'm gonna go in my tunnels and see if I can't catch anybody out, you know? Maybe here. Ooh, we do have somebody here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright. Oh, I tried to get a little cheeky with it, and I ended up dragging backwards instead, which is not good. Um, this girl seems pretty decent. Oh, oh, that was so clean. The finesse into, um, live into this vault, that's gross, dude. Alright, um, I lost her, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, how far did she make it, dude? How far did she make it? Oh, what's up, Dwight? Damn, she just gave away your position, man. She just gave away your position, bro. Oh, and here I am just whipping everything. Whipping all my shots, bro. As if I'm not a Xenomorph main. I'm sorry, guys. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than this. Um, we should be able to get this here, though. Unless I'm trash and miss. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's an easy shot. Easy shot. Alright, pick up. And throw him in basement. Odds are he's definitely going to let himself die. I don't think she's going to come and save him. So this might be a GG's here. It was a GG's once somebody quit, though. Just saying. They might have had a chance if uh, the other Lara would have stayed in. But no, nah, it's a GG's, dude. It's a GG's. Let's see if he lets himself go on hook. She's not here. Does he let go? And I don't know if he is or not because of the timer. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, GG's. All right, guys. So those that was the build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I didn't mind it. It's something different. I enjoy different builds like this. I'm um, not sure how much you guys enjoy stuff like this, but I'd say try it out. Try out, try, try out whatever build. Tell me whatever build you guys have in the comments below. I'm, I'm willing to try it. It doesn't matter how good, how bad, whatever, how meta, how not meta it is. Um, just let me know. I want to see it. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like on it and sub if you want to. I really appreciate it. And the, you guys are super nice in the comment section. I really appreciate that too. You guys make this all possible. And I'm just really excited that we're so close to hitting our goal. Make sure you do tell everybody that my goal is 1K by the end of the year. As always, stay safe, have a wonderful rest of your day, nights, evenings, whatever time it is for you. And if you're going to see Alien Romulus, uh, you probably already saw it by the time this is out. But enjoy it. I hope it's good. Hopefully everybody has a good time. Peace.